Mechuhin ako na pure Chinese. Mga brother, ang lolo ko Chinese, my Chinese wife doon, yung Chinese second wife dito. I am a member of Bayan. Kay Rizal, ikinumpara si Duterte, nuri pa ni si si Duterte. Who is this stupid guy? Stupid yung talaga itong putang akong ganun. What do you want me to do? Shoot the Moro or shoot the Christian? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Franz Yamin. I am a member of Bayan. Do not believe the others because they are not my friends. They are my political enemies. They say, I do not believe in God. Who says? I am a believer of a universal mind. But uh, I do not believe in God. I do not believe that a God so perfect would create hell for his creation. What kind of God is he? He is not my God. What kind of God is he? He is not my God. There is a time to, for everything. A time to negotiate and a time to quarrel. With your enemy, with your uh, political opponents, with your wife. That is why uh, some lives here are uh, and a time to antagonize, and a time to make peace, and a time to go to war, and a time to live, and a time to die. Who is this stupid gun? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Franz Yamin. Chinese, Franz Yamin. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. And that's the reason why I raised my fist, because I am a member of Bayan. One of the first reforms was land reform. There are the legal democratic forces in the Philippines. The biggest of these is Bagong Aliansang Makabay Makabayan or Bayan in short. It has a membership of more than 2 million members in more than 1,000 member organizations. I am a member of Bayan. As I have earlier pointed out, Partido ng Bayan, founded last uh, August 30 and 31, was an outgrowth of Bayan, the big coalition. I am a member of Bayan. Its uh, biggest component organizations are Kilusang Mayo Uno, which is the labor center, the Pambansang Kilusang Magbubukid, which is the, or the Kilusang Magbubukid ng Pilipinas or KMP, Gabriela, the Women's Alliance, League of Filipino Students, Alliance of Concerned Teachers, Cadena, and so on. I am a member of Bayan. Sa State Banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Who is this stupid gun? Ang ginawa niya, kinain ni Eve. Tapos si Eve, ginising si Adam, siguro katatapos lang, kumain ka rin. So kinain ni Adam. Then Malice was born.
Who is this stupid God? Stupid itu talaga itong putang akong ganun. Who is this stupid God? You created some, something perfect and then you think of a, an event that would have and destroy the quality of your work. How can you rationalize a God? Maniwala ka? Oh, ikaw. I mean, maniwala ka? I mean, maniwala ka? Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Xiamen. Most of us are really almost of uh, Chinese uh, ancestry. We love our country and we love the people. Kaya nga sabi ko siya, manawala niya. So tayo ngayon, all of us are born with an original sin. Ang original sin, at I said, ano man yan? Was it the first kiss? O what was the seed? Bakit original? Nasa womb ka pa, may kasalanan ka na. Ni, tsuk-tsak, walang yun ang nanay, pati tatay mo, hindi, wala ka bang kasali. Tapos ngayon, may original sin ka. Panginang klase. Ano klase yung reliyon yan? Yan ang hindi ko matanggap. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Frank Siamen, I am a member of Bayan. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Kay Rizal, ikinumpara siya si Duterte. Who is this stupid God? I am a member of Bayan. Who is this stupid God? Mituhin ako na pure Chinese. Mga half-brother. Nga, nandun na lang sa China. Galing binun doon. Mayaman na doon. Supporter pa ni... You know, I respect si... Ganun na lang ang respeto ko kay Xi Jinping. I am a member of Bayan. Eh, totoo yan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. May Chinese wife doon, yung Chinese second wife dito. Magbulahan pa tayo. Yan ang ugali ng check. Noon, lahat yan sila. May tiyo ako na, may tiyohin ako na pure Chinese. Mga half-brother. Diyan na, na. May tiyo ako na... Ano yung mga Pilipino naman, torpe? Eh, bahala kayo sarili ninyo. I only serve the majority. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. Who is this stupid God? Ang lolo ko, Chinese. May Chinese wife doon, yung Chinese second wife dito. Who is this stupid God? That has unite as one and create a better tomorrow for both of our countries. Let us unite as one. You know, I am a Filipino before anything else. I have that fundamental right to say what I want to say. Pagka sinabi kong ganon, at I was just narrating what happened, they took it to me that I was joking. I was not joking. No. Tinatanong niya ako, anong tribo ni Duterte? Bakit masama ang bunga niyan? Well, uh, we trace our pedigree sa papa. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Frank Siamen. Many years ago, may asawa siya doon. Pumunta dito yung buang nag-asawa ulit, yung lola ko. Sabi, you know, My mother is a half Maranao, half Chinese. Yung anak ko, yung vice mayor, he married a Moro lady. A Maranao mother and a Tausog father. 
So I have a line in my family na puro moro. Kasi sabi ko, what do you want me to do? Shoot the moro or shoot the Christian? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Franz Yamin. I am a member of Bayan. Kasi sabi ko, what do you want me to do? Shoot the moro or shoot the Christian? I am a member of Bayan. Tonight, the Philippine leader has faced harsh criticism for launching a bloody drug war. The film that has been hailed a street-level investigation of Duterte's murderous campaign in action. A testament to a dark age of cruelty. Apocalyptically real. And so electrifying, viewers will have to remind themselves this is happening now. On the president's orders, a frontline special presentation. Hitler massacred 3 million Jews. Now, there is 3 million drug addicts. Also incurred to his people by government and his police with his fingers to guide him. How many At least deaths? If Germany had Hitler, for the extrajudicial killing, it's not you know, the work of the police me. to be wrapping people with plastics and putting them in the bag. That is not the job of the police. I just told him that one bullet will do. Vigilante style killing. Why do you have to wrap this Waste your time. That is not. But we know at the start what we planted in the trees. I'm just as a. Well, my campaign. I've learned a lot during my will not stop. prosecution days. We planted Until the last We arrested persons, but we released them. And the last but telling him that it was this person. Are <laughs> we do it. And then we, uh, when, he, when he goes out for killing, then we said that it was this pillow to really be to be killed. We first planted the intrigue the has been so that we would know what we were methods, But that may finally be changing. It was not until I was the way, I was the, uh, I was the favorite. So, sabi ko sinasabi, basta, basta daw tayo pumakapatay, ano? Kung hindi mong pakabait, babarilin kita. Ha? This is Franz Yamin. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Franz Yamin. So, kung magtanong kayo, anong tribo mo, Duterte? Si Buano. Nakatira ka ba doon? Hindi. Bakasyon lang. <laughs> May kilala ka sa Dara. Wala rin. Kasi nakatira ako sa Dabaw. Doon ako lumaki. Pero ba, ang, ang, I'm, kami doon sa, 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 we grew up in the neighborhood. Mix kami lahat. No tribe can claim dominance there. I am a member of Bayan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Franz Yamin. You know why? Uh, hinahabol ko yung mga di 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 plus point of our uh, generation. Nandoon kasi yung mga Lava Brothers nandoon yung sim season and teaching also was uh, C. David Lapos. I guess I was really out for something. You know, I became a radical because I come from the Lyceum. <laughs> uh, would you believe it? The subject that Maria Sison was, te was, was teaching us was political thought. And that's why he contaminated us early on and we became the First, kabataang makabayan. Makabayan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Franz Yamin. And that's the reason why I raise my fist, because I am 
a member of Bayan. And that's the reason why I raise my fist because I am a member of Bayan. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. Ang lolo ko Chinese, Frank Siamen. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. And that's the reason why I raise my fist because I am a member of Bayan. Ang lolo ko Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's Frank Siamen. Most of us are really almost of uh, Chinese uh, ancestry. We love our country and we love the people. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. And that's the reason why I raise my fist because I am a member of Bayan. Because I am a member of Bayan. Ang lolo ko Chinese. Who is this stupid God? I am a member of Bayan. Who is this stupid God? I'm chewing up on pure Chinese. My brother. Man, don't know that's China. Galing binun donon. Mayama na don. Supporter pa ni. You know, I respect. Si, ano, ganun na lang ang respeto ko kay Xi Jinping. I am a member of Bayan. Eh, totoo yan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. My Chinese wife doon, yung Chinese second wife dito. Magbulahan pa tayo. Yan ang ugali ng check. Noon, lahat yan sila. May tiyo ako na, may tiyohin ako na pure Chinese. Mga half-brother. Diyan na, may tiyo ako na... Ano yung mga Pilipino naman torpe? Eh bahala kay sarili ninyo. I only serve the majority. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. Who is this stupid guy? Ang lolo ko Chinese... My Chinese wife doon, yung Chinese second wife dito. Who is this stupid guy? Let us unite as one and create a better tomorrow for both of our countries. Let us unite as one. Davao City does not belong to any particular tribe. It is not the Visayans, it is not the Tagalogs, but a mix. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Frank Siamen. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. And that's the reason why I raise my fist because I am a member of Bayan. I am a member of Bayan. Maliliban lang yan. And this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind. There are three processes by which the Philippine Revolution is to be advanced. These include the building of the Communist Party of the Philippines, the building of uh, the New People's Army, the, and the building of uh, the National Democratic Front. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. There may have been, a, there may be a difference in ideology and approach, but we are united in one. We are united in one. Kayo naman yan, kayo naman yan, kayo naman yan, may initiative na nanawagan na handa kayo makipag-coalition at nagpakita ng pagkaunawa sa pangrama ng MDF. Kumusta po kayo? Ah, mabuti naman. At uh, magandang pagkakatayong nito para makapagpasalamat ako sa, sa inyo at sa EXOP Photos for uh, Justice and Peace. At kaugnay ng uh, pagpapalaya sa 
limang uh, police officers. At uh, siyempre, nagpapasalamat ako sa mga parami na kayong ginawa uh, pagtulong sa release uh, sa mga pihag at sa lahat ng inyong uh, ginawa dati. No, does, the NDF cannot support anyone, does not support. It's against the ruling system, di ba? Pero the NDF is pleased, no? It's pleased that all the major candidates are for the continuation of the peace negotiations. Si Duterte naman, na dati kong estudyante sa Lyceum, she has very, many nice things to say about me, and I, I also have very, uh, many nice things to say about him, you know. Okay. Duterte, maluwag yung bunga nga. Uh, sabi niya, yung kapag akong presidente, isang paan ng NPA nasa Malacanang na. No? Ready for coalition. Pero may sasabihin, another time sasabihin, kailangan mag gano'n sila, mag disarm uh, Otherwise, ano, uh, kak kakalabanin niya. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Because uh, he uh, outrages the people, he abuses the people, so more people join the Communist Party. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Mabuhay ang NPA! Mabuhay! Mabuhay si Duterte! Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si Duterte. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Because I am a member of Bayan. Tell the president I said, what he has done to me, I have already forgiven. And I have already forgotten. I have no bitterness against Mr. Marcos. I have no rancor against Mr. Marcos. All I want to do is to help our people stop this bloodshed. So please tell the president I said, I have a formula. In two days I said, I will be sending him a formula. And I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. This is my way to help Marcos. This is my way to help Marcos. Mr. Marcos, Filipinos are dying. And this is a possible breakthrough. And this is a possible breakthrough. What did Mr. Marcos do? What did Mr. Marcos do? At the same time, I ask uh, um, the um, opposition party to come and join me in a coalition government. I offered one half of the cabinet. And of course, they laughed at me and said, why should we join you? We're going to take over the government. By the time you are through with the exercise, you're dead, politically and otherwise. <laughs> so, by uh, constitutional mandate, social justice is a matter of national policy and a priority objective of government. And this is why one of the first reforms was land reform. Now, um, we established uh, land reform. We were fighting a group known as the Hukbalahap, Hukbung Nagpapalaya Nambayan. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine because we had fought in the, uh, se in the Second World War together. And uh, so I approached them and I said, look, I'm going to establish land reform. If you are fighting for land reform against the feudalistic agrarian uh, system, then you must join me. And they did. I want to introduce to you the leader of that rebellion, who is now present and is a part of the government, Mr. Luis Tarok. <laughs> he is a member of the National Assembly. The one, one reason why he ran to the hills, according to him, was he was elected as a member of the old legislature and he was not recognized as such. He and the others. Now I want to introduce to you another uh, leader of the Free Farmers Federation, which is uh, also composed of farmers who wanted reform, but uh, who are fighting for reform, but who are now joining in the effort 
to establish political stability and economic prosperity throughout the country. And who was dean of the College of Law of the University of Ateneo, but abandoned his deanship in order that he may join in the effort to attain the uh, noble mission of this new society. I refer to uh, as National Assemblyman Jerry Montemayor. <laughs> President, <laughs> President of the Federation of Free Farmers of the Philippines. I would like to introduce also to you a young man who uh, was very active against the government in 1972 and uh, who paraded around the streets raising the flag of, of the Communist Party and organized the Kabataan Makabayan, which is the red organization of the youth. And this man is uh, Nilo Tayag. Is uh, he here? Anyway, he is uh, somewhere around here. But they have all joined all these activists to prove to you that all these stories about uh, our being oppressive uh, against uh, our enemies and our friends, they will join the government uh, to help uh, reform and uh, drive out all the corrupt people in the government. There was always extreme on both sides, enmity, if not enmity, extreme friendship, a relationship of love, hate. And this is my fate and destiny. Not all this uh, talk about corruption and, and this, uh, all these uh, ridiculous statements about uh, uh, people in government uh, enriching themselves. When you have activists like Luis Tarok and uh, um, Jerry Montemayor and Nilo Tayag and these men who were ready to kill the president, uh, but who now sees that the reforms that are being instituted are for the good and welfare of the country, you don't engage in any of this uh, uh, foolishness that you talk about. No. Everybody is sincere and earnest about making our democracy work. And I can tell you, I can tell you that whoever um, has told you about uh, these uh, uh, unwholesome uh, uh, observations about the Philippines better come back to the Philippines. I'll pay for your trip so you can uh, see what's actually happening. Shall I tell you that uh, we almost turned communists because you refused to recognize us. Shall I tell you that uh, I had a difficult time stopping my guerrillas, 25,000 of them from joining the communists. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Because precisely, you, you, you uh, sort of forgot that uh, we had done the fighting for you, you know, and uh, we were parts of your armed forces. Most of our allies in Europe, concerned about resisting communism, give the U.S. free bases and even share the cost. Why shouldn't we expect the same kind of cooperation from the Philippines instead of demands for more rent? By uh, constitutional mandate, social justice is a matter of national policy and a priority objective of government. And this is why one of the first reforms was land reform. One of the first reforms was land reform. Now, um, we established uh, land reform. We were fighting a group known as the Hukbalahap, Hukbung Nagpapalaya ng Bayan. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. And will I realign myself 
in your ideological flow. And maybe I will also go to Russia to talk to Putin and tell him that uh, there are three of us against the world. China, Philippines, and Russia. It's the only way. Mabuhay ang NPA! Mabuhay! Mabuhay si Duterte! I wrote this formula. I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Franz Yamin. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. We are, we are very excited with our visit today. And um, I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. Uh, I heard that uh, my uh, father was I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. I wrote this formula. Wherever you are, it's always changing. Geography is changing. Not the phys physical movement, but geography and politics, international politics, changes all the time. Gusto ninyo, gawain na lang ninyo kaming province, Fujian, pati Philippine province of China. Di wala tayong problema. Oh, province of uh, Philippines, uh, Republic of China. <laughs> the nearest is Fujian. I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expanded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. We are united in one, but it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endure. The Communist Party of the Philippines was established on December 26, 1968, as the Marxist-Leninist vanguard party of the working class. This party is supposed to be the standard bearer of the working class, which is that class that is the most progressive, productive, and political force in the Philippines. It is true that a minority class, especially only the party which represents it cannot win the, Re the Philippine Revolution all by itself. At any rate, even while there are the forces of armed revolution, there are the legal democratic forces in the Philippines. The biggest of these is Bagong Aliansang Makabayan, or Bayan in short. I am a member of Bayan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Frank Yamin. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. Kabataang makabayan. It has a membership 
of more than 2 million members in more than 1,000 member organizations. Its uh, biggest component organizations are Kilusang Mayo Uno, which is the labor center, the Pambansang Kilusang Magbubukid, which is the or the Kilusang Magbubukid ng Pilipinas or KMP, Gabriela, the Women's Alliance, League of Filipino Students, Alliance of Concerned Teachers, Caned Cadena, and so on. As I have earlier pointed out, Partido ng Bayan, founded last uh, August 30 and 31, was an outgrowth of Bayan, the big coalition. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. But you know, I have been uh, mayor of Davao City for the last 23 years. Ay ako, wala akong partido, but I choose PDP. Because PDP is actually left-leaning. As a matter of fact, the PDP guys take their oath of office with their left hand and shake with their left hand. Ganon ang ano ni Pimentel. Pimentel is a, parang ganon rin, but not so. Kami yung sumunod mga radical. I started with Bayan. And I did well. Oh, for the reason that I was elected, I said, in 1988, and it's now 2016, and I'm still the mayor of Davao City. If I make it, God willing, to the presidency, I will be the first left president in this country. And that's the reason why I raise my fist, because I am a member of Bayan. I am a member of Bayan. Bayan has always been my political party, but I am not a member of the Communist Party of the Philippines. I do not agree. They're too far left. I do not agree with the armed struggle and the killing of Filipinos. Magpataya lang tayo kanya-kanyang ating bayan. I am really a socialist. Ay yung iba naman pumapalag. Now, I'm testing really the waters uh, radicalism. As if I am irreverent, pag sinabi ng mga politiko, dito tayo, ha? Opo, congressman. O, dito tayo. Opo, dito tayo ngayon. Yes, sir. Bahala ka, sir. No. And they want to do governance in accordance with their interest. That's how it is. Noon pa, ganun talaga. Maliliban lang yan. And this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind.
after President Duterte took office, our two sides have worked together to remove any many obstacles. Our relationship has been turned around and put on the right trajectory. I commend the President for taking on Jose Rizal's mantle and for his commitment to the independent Philippines. Earlier today, the President and I agreed to elevate our relationship to one of comprehensive strategic cooperation. This decision, which will mark a new milestone in our relations, speaks to our shared determination to be good friends and good neighbors. We are truly pleased with this decision. And to be true to our founding fathers. In China, we have a saying, a single chopstick can be easily broken. With 10 of them tightly bundled, they can withstand much more damage. We are united in one. I know you have a similar proverb. A broom is sturdy because its strands are tightly bound. In that spirit, let us unite as one and create a better tomorrow for both of our countries. Let us unite as one. Malili man lang yan. And this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind. Why? Because we are fundamentally a feudal country. Kaya mainit. Why is it that, that there's so much killing during political exercises? Why do you think people kill the guys on the other side? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Xiamen. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. What relationship does the UNIDO party have to the National Democratic Front? who has played a central role in arguing the Filipino. Arguing the Filipino people's case against the Marcos dictatorship and who presently has a base of support of over 10 million. I do not know the actual relationship today between the United Democratic Opposition in the Philippines and the National Democratic Front. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. There may, have been a di there may be a difference in ideology and approach, but we are united in one. We are united against the dictatorship. My position is very clear. If we will succeed in overthrowing the dictatorship, we should allow every voice and every idea to ventilate their views in the public market. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expanded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. I belong to the left. Walang masama sa left. And I belong to the left. They are not a member of the ruling elite. It's from Yemen. Stay out. I ako wala akong partido but I choose PDP because PDP is actually left leaning. As a matter of fact, the PDP guys take their oath of office with the left hand and shake with the left hand. Ganon ang ano ni Pimentel. Pimentel is in, parang ganon din, but not so. Kami yung sumunod mga radical. I started with Bayan. And I did well. I'm Chinese. Walang masama sa left. From Xiamen. Ako po si Mr. Rio. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. The billionaires here, the family, the elite. From Xiamen. From Xiamen, China. So, nagsisinungaling ka. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Xiamen. Most of us are really almost of uh, Chinese uh, ancestry. We love our country and we love the people.
Kaya pumunta ako ng China. And I wanted to establish, to realign our broken, it was really broken. Let us be frank with each other. Ni hindi tayo pinapansin ng China. So I went there, I said, I come here in good faith. I do not have any arms. As you can see, wala akong armas. I just want to talk about the Western Philippine Sea. You call it the China Sea. Yan, tapos na yan. O dito na naman tayo isang bukid. Those are just directions na tapos na sila dyan. Of course, they do it in Chinese because itagalog mo yan. It's the dialect. Ang lang, itagalog mo yan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's France, Yamin. Most of us are really almost of Chinese ancestry. We love our country. And we love the people. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. Benham or the Philippine rice. And I would insist on the Philippine rice. Because that is ours. Period. Na ngayon, pumunta ang China. Naglagay ng markers. Kaya ngayon, VIP trade. With the amount. Tapos, Chinese characters. Southernmost. Eh, alang-alang gawin lang German, ang alam lang lang nila, Chinese eh. Of course, they do it in Chinese, bakit itagalog mo yan. So, pag yung mount, yan o na. Nangyayari, in the past, since the Korea administration, lumakas ang NPA. Kasi yung panahan ni Marcos, eh, malapit na kami bumagsak noon eh. It was only the Cordillera Group that saved the situation. Pero nung dumating yung Korea administration, biglang lumakas yung NPA eh. Dahil pinalakas na ng gobyerno. 3, 2, 1. Isang magandang pagkakataon ng ating mga kapanayam uh, ngayong araw na ito si Father Conrado Balweg, ang pinuno po ng Cordillera Budong Administration at ng Cordillera People's Liberation Army. Narito po siya at tatanungin po natin ng isang ilang mahalagang katanungan. Una po sa lahat, Father Balweg, ano po ang sinasabi niyong narinig namin pahayag na ang current effort po ng ating pamahalaan, ang peace initiative na tinatawag natin, ay hindi magiging successful o hindi magiging matagumpay. When I made that statement, it is based on the fact that uh, kung ikaw ay magkaroon ng panawagan na magkaroon tayo ng uh, we resolve our problem and establish peace, ay that is with the believe na both of you are for peace, no? <clears throat> Pero, hindi ganun eh. Hindi peace ang isyo, kundi politika. For the Communist Party, the issue is politics in, in the sense na what they, why they are, or why they came into being or why they are organized is for them <clears throat> to take political power to become the government or to be the one in Malacanang. Yun yung issue, hindi yung peace. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. So we are addressing the problem, uh, not the correct problem, but we are talking on something that is beyond the point. So the, the NPA is created in order for the Communist Party to be the ones in government. That is the issue. So, what peace are we talking about? Hindi man peace yung issue sa Communist Party, kundi sa kanila, ang issue ay politika. And when I came back to Dallas, Texas, I immediately took the telephone and I called Mr. Marcos and I told his Deputy Defense Minister, tell the President I have a formula. Maybe I said, this is my way to help our people. Tell the President I said, what he has done to me, I have already forgiven and I have already forgotten. I have no bitterness against Mr. Marcos. I have no rancor against Mr. Marcos. All I want to do is to help our people stop this bloodshed. So please tell the President, I said, I have a formula. In two days, I said, I will be sending him a formula. And I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos, and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expanded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. 
but it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. This is my way to help Marcos. Mr. Marcos, Filipinos are dying. And this is a possible breakthrough. And this is a possible breakthrough. What did Mr. Marcos do? What did Mr. Marcos do? At the same time, I ask uh, um, the um, opposition party to come and join me in a coalition government. I offered one half of the cabinet. And of course, they laughed at me and said, why should we join you? We're going to take over the government. By the time you are through with the exercise, you're dead, politically and otherwise. So, and they, uh, shall I tell you that uh, we almost turned communists because you refused to recognize us. Shall I tell you that uh, I had a difficult time stopping my guerrillas, 25,000 of them from joining the communists, because precisely you, you, you uh, sort of forgot that uh, we had done the fighting for you, you know, and uh, we were parts of your armed forces. Most of our allies in Europe concerned about resisting communism give the U.S. free bases and even share the cost. Why shouldn't we expect the same kind of cooperation from the Philippines instead of demands for more rent? By uh, constitutional mandate, social justice is a matter of national policy and a priority objective of government. And this is why one of the first reforms was Land reform. One of the first reforms was land reform. Now, um, we established uh, land reform. I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expanded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. We are united in one, but it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endure. formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. Now um, we established uh, land reform. We were fighting a group known as the Hukbalahap, Hukbung Nagpapalaya Nambayan. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, 
They were friends of mine. It was leftist. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine because we had fought in the, uh, se in the Second World War together. And uh, so I approached them and I said, look, I'm going to establish land reform. If you are fighting for land reform against the feudalistic agrarian uh, system, then you must join me. And they did. I want to introduce to you the leader of that rebellion, who is now present and is a part of the government, Mr. Luis Tarouk. He is a member of the National Assembly. The one, one reason why he ran to the hills, according to him, was he was elected as a member of the old legislature and he was not recognized as such. He and the others. Now I want to introduce to you another uh, leader of the Free Farmers Federation, which is uh, also composed of farmers who wanted reform, but uh, who are fighting for reform, but who are now joining in the effort to establish political stability and economic prosperity throughout the country, and who was dean of the College of Law of the University of Ateneo, but abandoned his deanship in order that he may join in the effort to attain the uh, noble mission of this new society. I refer to uh, as National Assemblyman Jerry Montemayor. <laughs> President, <laughs> President of the Federation of Free Farmers of the Philippines. I would like to introduce also to you a young man who uh, was very active against the government in 1972 and uh, who paraded around the streets raising the flag of, of the Communist Party and organized the Kabatan Makabayan, which is the red organization of the youth. And this man is uh, Nilo Tayad. Is uh, he here? Anyway, he is uh, somewhere around here. But they have all joined. All these activists to prove to you that all these stories about uh, our being oppressive uh, against uh, our enemies and our friends, they've all joined the government uh, to help uh, reform and uh, drive out all the corrupt people in the government. There was always extreme on both sides, enmity. If not enmity, extreme friendship. A relationship of love, hate. And this is my fate and destiny. Not all this uh, talk about corruption and, and this, uh, all these uh, ridiculous statements about uh, uh, people in government uh, enriching themselves. When you have activists like Luis Tarok, and uh, um, Jerry Montemayor and Nilo Tayag and this man who were ready to kill the president. Uh, but who now sees that the reforms that are being instituted are for the good and welfare of the country? You don't engage in any of this uh, uh, foolishness that you talk about. No, everybody is sincere and earnest about making our democracy work. And I can tell you, I can tell you that whoever um, has told you about uh, these uh, uh, unwholesome uh, uh, observations about the Philippines better come back to the Philippines. I'll pay for your trip so you can uh, see what's actually happening. Ngayon, bakit ako tumakbo? I was ready to retire. And I gave you three reasons. When I said, I have a very serious in the families from Siamin. Second is that uh, I'm old. Third, I do not have the money. Ayoko maging presidente. Eh, bakit ba? Ako karaming, no, Manila guys, mamili ka by the thousands. Why are you insisting on me? Eh, kasi, namimili. And those elected really take care of the elite. Alam mo, I take the posture of the radical. Sinasadya ko talaga yung bunga. I'm testing the elite. Because in this country, 
if you would notice, historically, there are about only a few guys, the billionaires here in Manila, the Imperial Manila, to choose the president for us. And I'm not trying to equate myself with you or identify myself with you, but they want, they want it prim and proper. They control the media, they control uh, television and all. And they want to do governance in accordance with their interest. That's how it is. Noon pa, ganun talaga. Ang, ito namang, as a gobyerno, they have to steal. They have to make money to sustain their partisan group in a society. Kaya ganun, kung bakit magtanong, bakit ba dito? Sa Pilipinas, patayan. In, in, in uh, other nations, some vote, some don't, and no big deal. That is the reason why. Because we have kept our country in eternal poverty. Maliliman lang yan. And this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA because... Uh, he uh, outrages the people, he abuses the people, so more people join the Communist Party. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Yung sa NPA naman, ang panawagan ko sa kanila, kung makikinig sila sa panawagan, mag-aral muna sila at tignan nila uh, kung ang kanilang, ang epekto ba ng kanilang paniniwala ay nakapagbibigyan ng buhay sa mamayan o ang daming napatay. Kasi, they always blame the government na the government has killed so many people. Mas marami ang pinatay ng NPA na mahihirap na mamayan kaysa yung napatay ng mga AFP noon. Ang napapalabas, parang ang AFP ang nagkakamali. Pero if you look at the data, mas maraming pinatay ng NPA. Even missionaries, priests, uh, in the Cordilleras, si Father Leo, an old missionary, they just liquidated him in Inilibing nila na hindi na namin alam kung nasaan si Father Leo. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte, maluwag yung bunga nga. Uh, sabi niya, yung kapag akong presidente, isang paan ng NPA nasa malakad lang na. No? Ready for coalition. Mabuhay ang NPA! Mabuhay! Mabuhay si Duterte! Mabuhay! <laughs> and I will promise you, it will be a clean and fair government for everybody. Uh, I wish you well, all the best for you, makasama natin dyan. And hopefully I will visit you before I will assume office. Kasi may ang um, the agenda. Po, um, ang galing. Good po. Kasi yung agen uh, ang, ang agenda, sir. Salamat ang usap ng katang ito na magkausap tayo. At uh, maraming salamat sa uh, uh, prospect na uh, hindi magtatagal, magkita na tayo. We have also to have to prepare the agenda para pag nandito na eh, wala na masyadong uh, debate or issues and resolve. Diyan na ho natin na uh, gawain ang agenda yung uh, pagdating. The agenda only. Yan ang natutunan. Yan ang natutunan ko sa iyo, sir. Salamat. Maraming salamat. Sige, sir. Ay, sa wikang mga bayan I am not a member of the Communist Party. I do not agree. They're too far left. I do not agree with the armed struggle and killing of the people. Yung sa NPA naman, eh sabi ko, eh kung ako ang mapresidente, per chance, either patayin mo ako o patayin kita. Because I have to swear to the Filipino flag that I would keep the, the integrity of this republic as one.